<laughs> we have, we've just popped onto Cheetah Plains now, and we've got the most curious little bunch of dwarf mongoose coming out of a termite mound. A little bit late this morning on warming themselves up because the sun has been up for quite some time, <clears throat> as you can see. But I haven't seen any teeny tiny babies just yet. Just some of the adults. But we'll see, we'll watch them. At the moment we can see three actually. I can hear the rest. You can hear a couple of them actually, it sounds like they're foraging out in the long grass quite a distance away from us. So maybe these are some youngsters, but they have just grown up so much now. Hello guys, you're very curious, aren't you? And they are lovely little creatures. And I really do, we have some dwarf mongoose for, for TV on the weekend. Don't you think it'll be so nice? We can show the rest of the world how beautiful these little creatures are. And the most acute senses as well. You can see they're listening to everything that's going on around them. They're very cautious, of course, because we are sitting here. So they're going to keep most of their attention on us. But I think that they're being summoned by the rest of the crew, which are out and about in the far distance. I can just hear the little... The high, it's obviously a very high-pitched noise, of course. Hi, guys. Another one. There's a little baby popping its head out now. Just to the right of that one. There you go. Playing Bob the Weasel. Hi now. It's actually make it's actually talking too. Let's see if we can hear it. No, it's stopped making the noise now. I think it was obviously looking for comfort from mom one of the other members but now you can clearly see that that one that we had was a teeny tiny one they are so so precious these little guys hello beautiful now they've always seemed to have quite a bit of moisture in their eyes i don't know if any of one else has noticed that look at that sort of gleaming brown what would you even call that ruby no not ruby what color would you use to describe their eyes it's actually more brown than anything their eyes sort of match their nose don't they and i wonder I wonder if you could tell that they're unwell by the moisture that's on their nose. Sort of like you do with your dogs and cats, and we do it with buffalo as well. Because their noses look quite nice and moist. So I would only imagine that if they were to dry out, it would show that they're unwell. Hello, little one. Oh, Dina, you want to know how many toes does a mongoose have on each foot? Should we count? I think we should count. So if we can just have a closer look at the mongoose feet. We'll start with the front and we'll see if the front match the back. So I can see one, two, three, four toes, five. One, two, three, four, five toes on the front. So sort of four main claws and then um, not quite a dew claw, but something similar. And then we've only got one, two, three, four toes on the back. But again, maybe they've got a little dew claw too. I can't quite see it. But it looks to be as if they have five. I actually wouldn't mind seeing a mongoose track. But unfortunately, the substrate, uh, typically around termite mounds, is not always that great to see tracks. And it's always quite hard. And it's, again, we're actually quite not too far away from where we saw the caracal. And I showed you all the ground there. It's not great. Oh, my goodness, look at them all coming up now. The grass has just come alive with all these little mongoose. So I think they've come back. They were obviously foraging out, and now they've come back to collect everyone. And Nevin, you're wondering if mongoose are able to turn their heads slowly. I think it's impossible. I don't think a mongoose can do anything slowly. Every movement that they have is normally quite quick and erratic uh, <laughs> for their size. It's almost like saying, can a jackal walk? I don't think I've ever seen a jackal walking before. They're always doing a very, they're either trotting or they're running, but never, never walking. <laughs> so, so no, I don't think that they can turn their heads slowly. Ah, oh, yes, show us your teeth. And very sharp teeth. And of course, because of their diet, they're not feeding on vegetation. They're eating insects and small little uh, other small invertebrates. And they love snakes, too. And I'm sure that they will gobble up some termites when there's an opportunity to. But it's amazing how they live in these um, the termite mounds. And they don't seem to feast on them all the time. Now, I don't know if they're using this one quite regularly. Because typically what you can see around a termite mound, normally on the eastern-facing slope of the termite mound, is you'll see a lot of dung from these mongoose but I can't see that so maybe they were just foraging around here and they're using this as a bit of shelter 
because with such a large group of them, you'd expect to see much feces. And the reason why they do it on the eastern side of the mound is because this is where they, when they wake up, uh, this is the side of the mound that they're warming themselves on. And it's the first area that gets sun. So I don't know if this is being used all the time. Maybe this is one of their safe spots. Now, Nikki, you've noticed that the mongoose have got sharp claws and you're wondering how sharp they are. As sharp as can be. I wouldn't want to be scratched by a little mongoose. Look at them. Look how crazy those are. And they need those for digging. Because if they do feel the movement of a scorpion or smell a scorpion uh, that's in its burrow, and we've seen they make those oval-shaped burrows that go down into the ground, they will dig, dig, dig with those claws and dig their food out that way too. But they're beautiful. Look at their coats. They are such stunning creatures, very shiny coats. Everything is just looking in such good condition at the moment. The bushes really does flourish at this time of the year. All the animals are so happy. Hello. Now, it's interesting. Some, some groups of mongoose or some families of mongoose only live, um, only, live, only live in small groups. You might only find five of them, but this must be... Oh. Sorry, that's, they move when I move. There must be at least 15 here, if not even more. I'm sure there's a few more that we can't actually see. There's a couple of little ones. Can we have a look at the ones that are in the grass? I don't know if they were suckling. And I did see them all clamoring about one of, one of the adults. Oh, hello, beautifuls. You are so sweet, aren't they? Now, again, even though something like this is really adorable and cute, you really don't want to have them as pets. They are... Not fun, they'll scent mark all over you, and also you've seen those sharp claws and those sharp teeth. And I could imagine that they'd get quite cheeky and they would bite you. So don't have one of these as a pet. We'll let them live in the wild.